<coughs> Hello, my fellow TIs. As I begin this video, everybody gets quiet. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyways, today, eh, yeah, a lot of burning and shocking. <laughs> just, there's a certain part that they burn and shock when I'm sitting on these bed boards on this, this bed frame. And, um, yeah, it's always the same fucking place. But I realized that the underwear that I, that I wear, and all of them, and they're different kinds, they all have like a, something in the freaking seam, right in that exact same spot. So, I'm going to start wearing my tiny ones, because, I don't know, it's just really weird. You know, I had to finally take off my underwear last night, because I realized that, you know, they all have something, like, I don't know if it's the corner of the seams or whatever, but it's fucking, like, right there. And <laughs> this motherfucker, he loves to shock me. You know what? And the people next door are fucking, yeah, you know, we share that wall. But it's not shared. It's taken over. So, I just get in and out of there as quickly as possible. So, they'll have less to fucking... <laughs> but, um... I need to go take a walk now that I can. My spine still hurts, of course. Because on top of the shit that they do, you know, I already have my disablements or whatever. But, um, yeah, about my daughter, you know, as you know, I'm tired of it, and flip flipped, you know, you know how they flip people, but, um, and some people don't even know, some people don't even know that they're being mind controlled, and you know what, not in this case, not in this case at all. You know, people don't realize, and I don't say some people, but they don't realize that I do recognize voices, you know, and it hurts me sometimes when I know that people are good people. And, yeah, you know, I can hear them talking to the rest of the motherfucking gang-stalking criddle crew, <laughs> you know once in a while and stuff and it kind of you know hurts me and I tend to end up shutting people out that you know are basically good people but you know as they say um friend of my enemies you know these people aren't my enemies and I don't count them as my enemies but for some reason they really really hate me you know but of course you know <laughs> I got red flagged and my name put on the fucking watch list for no reason. <laughs> you know, and I just can't get over that because it really hurts my feelings that, you know, it hurt my feelings back then when, um, <laughs> you know, that person would <laughs> have the, what do you call it, supervisor come over here and it, there was no reason. And, you know, when I was out of the country for over a month. Complaints, 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 straight. <laughs> Several times a day for three weeks. But I told the managers that I was leaving. But of course, same person called the supervisor. You know, last time that I didn't do what they said I did, you know, the, the supervisor went out the side door and pointed, you know. But when I got complaints, lots of complaints for straight three weeks, you know, I was back after, yeah, after a month, like a month and a week. And when he told me that, I said, talk to your managers. Um, they knew when I was leaving. 
Um, I called him from there, and I called him and said that I'd be back, too. I said, no, I wasn't even in the country. And he kind of looked. And, um, well, who, you have a cat. Whoever you left in charge of your cat was having parties and having excessive people over here and, you know, disrupting everybody and loud noise and music. <laughs> I said, no. Nobody was watching my cat and staying here. My cat wasn't even here. And then he went back out the side door and pointed again. You know, but, you know, I guess, you know, that was meant for me to get kicked out. You know, for me to get in trouble and get kicked out of this place so I wouldn't live near them. But, um, you know, you know, could have told me to my face. You know, I respect truth. I respect when people come to my face. I don't like you. Fuck what you stand for. Fuck your beliefs. You know, <laughs> I hate you. And I've heard that person say that before. That they hate me. And um, there's really no reason to hate me. You know, before I got complaints on being loud, I wasn't loud. I didn't play bunch of loud music like I've been complaining for, you know. I don't even own a speaker. I, cell phone, that's it. Not even an alarm clock, you know. So, you know, my name got put on the watch list, and I got red flagged for nothing. And smear campaigns set into effect. And not too long ago, yeah, I discovered... One of the smear campaigns, you know, a neighbor that I didn't even know told me, oh, you're the one that kills dogs, huh? You know, apparently <laughs> the child molester that used to live downstairs, well, I say that because even if he's not doing it, he still did things around my best friend, you know, and said things to children when he was driving in the car. But um, that's not it, you know, the point is, is that he's on Megan's Law, and a lot of people, you know, one thing about a child molester, you know, and I'm speaking from experience, you know, they're likable, you know, they have something that pulls people in, a charm, or a friendliness, or a politeness, or they're funny, something, and I'm telling you from experience, you know, there's the person is always likable. The people that, you know, <laughs> that I know that have been molested or children, you know, have told me things. And plus, I've experienced it, you know, from my own father. You know, that's the reason that I lived on homeboys' floors. Well, anyways... You know, these people, it's not like I can't hear them. And, you know, I don't react like I used to. But that's when they give me the shocks and the burns and the radiation and all that crap because they want to see me jump. They get a, some kind of fucking thrill off of hurting me, off of torturing me. And <clears throat> somebody calls a lot of shots, you know, <laughs> but, um, yeah, apparently back to the neighbor that I had met, um, yeah, she was told that I killed somebody's dog. The owner of the dog told me years ago, <laughs> you know, it was great to hear that. And that's why, you know, she didn't want nothing to do with me. And I talked to the owner of the dog after all these years. It had been five years. And he told me, I never believed that you killed my dog. He goes, it was the guy next door. He, you know, the owner of the dog sees me. I stop and talk to cats, you know, when I'm walking down the street. You know, I know, well, I, I don't know one of the cats' names now, but all the cats I know by name, you know. But, um... 
this place. This place. You know, it's falling apart, and I thought it was, you know, it's just ridiculous. The walls, downstairs, you know, I looked up symptoms of mold, because I've asked the manager if we had mold before. And um, everything's crumbling, and it smells like moisture all the time, and there's leaks, and that's on the list, you know, of things to look out for if there's always water leaking. If things are always, <laughs> if your plumbing's always fucked up, excuse my language. Um, yeah, mine's been leaking probably a year and a half, I mean... You know, I think that them having problems downstairs or them making it, who knows? Who knows? I'm not even putting past anybody around here. Anybody, anywhere. I don't put anything past anybody no more. Because even the ones you love. You get me? Even the ones you love that are supposed to be close to you. But, um, yeah. I can't even wash my dishes in the sink. You know, it smells raunchy. Um, yeah, it's been leaking, and it'll go straight through. You know, I've told them that my stuff was leaking over and over and over, and my toilet was not working. It was just shooting out water. And <laughs> he did something to it, but... You know, with my spine, I had to keep on emptying water, emptying water for days. But when somebody else told them that their shit was no good, they went down there and fixed it. Um, if somebody else's stuff, they might be hesitant in fixing it, but if somebody else's stuff, yeah, they fix it right away. You know, I don't know what they needed to get into that bathroom wall for, because I've been in that apartment. But, um, <laughs> they kept on going in the bathroom wall and, what do you call it, mesh and shit like that. And, you know, I just happened to be looking through the internet at flat trap doors, you know, like doors that are hidden, like on the side of the stairway, um, drop top, uh, freaking flat trap doors that are like hidden, um, into the, what do you call it? Mm -hmm. drywall and stuff like that shit that you can't yeah it's amazing and um I happen to see I guess it's a mm, it's a trap thing that you can pull out to have access to the other side of the wall <laughs> and boom it was in my bathroom he didn't tell me that's what that was you know I mean I seen a bunch of mesh and shit and, but yeah that's what it is. And I'll be damned. He didn't tell me that. So those people, yeah, they sure have an interest in seeing me go pee. And you know what? It's been um, uploaded to fucking YouTube. Can you believe that shit? It's been uploaded. Luckily, you can't see who I am too good. But it's been fucking uploaded. These people get a fucking thrill. <laughs> yeah. You know. And another neighbor and shit. With her kids. Boom. I don't know how they were seeing me. But yeah. Uh, she told. I hate her. You know. And I knew exactly who it was. You know, I don't know how people can hate me, you know. Yeah, I used to be louder and shit and whatever. But I've always been a decent person. And I've always looked out for my neighbors until my neighbors started attacking me. <laughs> hey, you don't have to be from Hawthorne, from the city of good neighbors, to be a good neighbor. It's just something that you freaking do. That's what you do. You look out for your neighbors. <laughs> what I've always done it's just a thing for anybody to do whether you know them or not don't matter 
what race, what religion, where they come from, you know, hey, they, no, it's just something that you do. And you know what, the thing about it is that even though that these people attack and torment me, if I seen something happen or, you know, my dumb ass would still make sure that they know that something happened or freaking my dumb ass would still fucking look out for them. Because I'm just not that. I'm just the way I'm made. And I'm not that way. But you think any of them would tell me? Hell no. My daughter was banging on that door, shouting some outrageous shit that I cut myself and put the blood all over the hallway. There's some red stuff out there, but, you know, what the fuck, really? <laughs> Weird. Yeah. But, um, and banging, 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 and not coming to the side, you know, yelling, and not one neighbor told her, can you shut the fuck up? Or can you please be quiet? Something. But all the neighbors that I used to have, you know, the ones that all moved out within a year and a half, there would have been at least three, if not four people. I mean, it might have took Mama a little longer to get up here. But, um, yeah. They would have told her. <laughs> but... Hey, she could have dragged a ladder to the outside and the side and shit, and nobody still would have told her nothing. But if I made all that noise, damn Skippy, that I'd get complained on. But, um, she's flipped anyways. She's one of them, you know. One night when she's banging on the damn door and shit like that, I heard her go where, well, these, I hear them where they go. And, you know, there was no reason. And I heard her and the neighbors whispering. You know, a while back when she came to stay with me for a couple of weeks to fucking, like, to just to fuck with me and get a reaction. And, um... Yeah, make my life miserable. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. But, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, she told me that the neighbors had a petition going on in this building and in the neighborhood to get me out. Now, I didn't really believe her. But, hey, thinking about it, anything's possible. Anything's possible with the links that people go, go to to freaking listen to me, to fucking poke and prod me, to look at me, to see me, to smell me, to breathe my air. To stick their nose up my ass and smell my farts. You know, the links that these people will go to. You know, hey, I stopped having a life and became very boring. You know, some of these young people have fucking some kind of weird fucking weird obsession with an old fucking lady with wrinkles and stretch marks and, you know, <laughs> fucking... Worn and stretched tattoos and fucking a crushed in spine. And I think they listen so closely and talk about me so much that they probably fucking jack off to fucking watching me or listening to me. Fucking weirdos. They probably call out my name when they're having sex with their partner. Fucking weird, obsessed fucking people. You know, that's just weird. I have no butt. I gave it to my children. I got skin hanging off my ass bone. And they probably turns them on. 
it probably turns them on. Because, come on, let's face it, all of them, all of them, and the ones who really don't, they talk to them. And, you know, come on, I've been deemed, I'm not schizophrenic. <laughs> I was deemed schizophrenic, but for the wrong reasons. And I've been undeemed. <laughs> Nothing is wrong with me, that doctor said. Nothing is wrong with you. You just need a neurologist. And I need a neurologist because there was a suburban on top of my fucking face, too, which means my head. And certain things that I should get, sometimes I'm like a child. And, you know, I, I know when I can feel it and I get frustrated, you know. But it's not like I don't know, you know. Yeah, I never even, you know, was schizophrenic. And it really, you know, I lost my hair behind it. I started shuffling like a J-cat. I wasn't lucid and I was trying to hang in there. Um, I was 96 pounds. 363 pounds at one time, too. But, um, you know, a lot of us, you know, get diagnosed schizophrenic and we're not. You know. And if I need to, and if I end up going to court and stuff, um, or going anywhere, if I need to, all I got to do is stop by there and, and, you know, have the office print out something that says, no, Miss Garcia is <laughs> not schizophrenic. There is, you know, I do have some things, you know, depression and stuff, but I handle them different, anxiety. But at least I'm not fucking schizophrenic, you know. <laughs> That runs in my, you know, the Garcia side of the family, uh, schizophrenia. And I wasn't hearing voices in my head. They were coming from freaking, like, underneath the, the motor of the refrigerator. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, when you put on the TV, they were behind the sound of the show that you were watching. <laughs> you know, apparently, when you have schizophrenia, you hear voices in your head, not other places. <laughs> you know, and yeah, damn skippy, I was trying to act normal, but I took apart, yeah, I, in the electricity, <laughs> I took apart the, the light switch in the bathroom, and there was those two wires there. And, you know, I used to have friends come over and stuff like that. And, you know, a lot of times my son would be gone with his other mom. But, um, they, oh, let me use the restroom. And they go to flip that switch on. <laughs> and they get shocked really bad. And then, of course, you're going to forget. And you're going to try to turn it off, too. And, you know, even I got shocked a couple times. But, um, yeah, there's other people. And this shit has had a light shed on it. And public information and, you know, even, even us and the techniques and crap. And it's <laughs> the, the, what do you call it, the energy weapons and, you know, people shocking you and shit. And, you know, the radiation, that's... That has been recognized by the United Kingdom. You know, a lot of this stuff. And um, it's also been recognized by doctors, too. You know, so, you know, for every one person that says that, you know, we're all just tripping, there's a hundred people. You know, even psychiatrists. You know, they're addressing it, and it's... And there are some, some fake-ass gang stalkers. I mean, fake-ass um, targeted individuals on the Internet. You know? And one of the TIs told me that you'll notice if it's a fake, uh, fake um, TI, that you'll notice the comments and um, go check out the, the commenters' uh, channels. And I did, you know? And of course... 
either no content or, yeah, a bunch of fake ass stuff. You know, and there's one TI that's on there. And, you know, I think he makes profiles and comments back to himself. You know, he talks about, um, he's very calm, but at the same time, passive-aggressive, so you don't even get it at first. At first, you think that he's being unbiased, but how can a target individual be passive-aggressive and unbiased? And I've never heard any TIs tell their subscribers, you know, in the comment section, that they should get the shot and infiltrate them. That right there told me, oh, <laughs> yeah, you were right, Garcia. Come on. Oh, and also another thing is he encourages people to be quiet about their situation. <laughs> oh, nobody will believe you anyways. They'll just lock you up because you're crazy. Who does that? No TIs that I know. You know, no TIs. They encourage you to be calm. You know, wait till you get after that, get over the crazy part. Yeah, of course. And get over the angry part. That's part two. Some people don't get over that. But, um, yeah, you have to be calm. And, you know, I was irrational and all over the place when it started hard. And I had... I didn't have the words for it, and I didn't know how to explain what was happening because there was so many things at once. <laughs> so I just sounded like a babbling idiot. And, yeah, but then I learned. I learned. I researched. I talked to other TIs. Um... You know, went back and forth on the comments. You know. And, yeah. It's all over the world. Not that many people can be nuts and have the same kind of crap happen to them. Not all of us have the same kind of crap. Some people are color harassed and, and vehicle harassed and noise harassed. That doesn't bother me. They have tested me for noise harassment before. <laughs> you know what? I adjust. I adjust because this is an apartment building. Come on. You know, I've always, you know, somebody used to live downstairs that their kids used to just lay down and kick the wall all night. <laughs> I love that person. I'm still in touch with that person. But, um, yeah, you adjust. You know, even to the guy that used to have his alarm going off really loud for hours, you know, really early in the morning, you learn to sleep past that. You know, hey, humans adapt and adjust. Hey, so do cats. Cats are the only animals that, you know, adapt to their humans change, you know, so if I'm sleeping... For like a week or two, you know, and only getting up to go to the bathroom and I'm in pain, you know, my cat sleeps too. And sleeps right next to me. And if I have to go on the floor, hoping that it's less pain and the guy downstairs will shock me less. And fucking my neighbors will harass me less and fucking attack me less. Hey, I'll go on the floor. You know what? I wake up with my cat right next to me on the floor or at, you know, hey, at that point, at this point, you know what, <laughs> the Lord God above and my cat are the only ones that I can trust completely. There's never any going back anymore. You know, if 